Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. There's a verse in Proverbs chapter 12 that talks about speaking rashly. It says, He who speaks rashly is like a sword thrust. But he who speaks wisely is one who heals. Which category do you fall into? Now, I'm 72 years old, so I think I've spoken rashly a time or two in my life. How about you? And I have also made rash decisions. But we need to consider our words before we just let her fly. We need to stop and think about them. Say to ourselves, now, will this heal? Will this be a wise word? One of the most distressing stories to me in the Bible, and there are quite a few, but this one stands out as among the top of the list. It's when Jephthah, one of the judges of Israel, who was a judge for about six years, was going up against the enemies of Israel, the Ammonites. And to me, he just spoke a very rash word. He said, if God gives me victory when I return home, the one who walks through that door will be a sacrifice to God. The Lord gave him victory, but when he went home, guess who walked through the door? His one and only daughter. He kept his vow to the Lord, but she made a request that, that he would give her two months to bewail her virginity. And she would never be able to marry. She wouldn't have a life. So it said, he gave her the two months, and after that, he did to her as he had vowed. So talk about a rash word. That's a very rash word. He should have thought it through. Even if it wasn't his daughter, any human being walking through the door... You shouldn't be wanting to sacrifice to God. That's just terrible to me. He didn't want to go back on his vow because when you make a vow to the Lord, that can bring a curse upon you. But I remember a long time ago, the Lord protected me from making a rash vow. I know he did. I was in church, and I was just feeling His Holy Spirit so strong. I was praying and praying, and I almost made a rash vow to the Lord. But His Holy Spirit just checked me, and I stopped and thought, and I felt like He was saying, don't say that. So I didn't. I've thought about that down through the years and I've thought thank you Lord for saving me from that because if I had made that rash vow then I don't know how that would have affected me spiritually I'd like for you to leave your opinion about making rash vows to the Lord if we bring a curse on ourselves or not, I think maybe we can go and ask forgiveness and repent because I know God is merciful. But I also know that God frowns upon people making vows and not keeping them. So let me know what you think about that. But I just want to leave this thought with you today. 
Consider your words. Don't speak rashly to people and don't make rash decisions. Be wise in the way you walk before the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.